be outside. I told you, I didn't come here for a man. I don't care about Kidua or anybody. I don't give a shit. I can't get okay, the okay. money. Okay, we're in the car and move on. I have a son. Okay, I have things to take care of. And I'm older than these people, so no all this I'm not asking my age. I'm shook. Really? But moving on, any other question? I don't know. Any other question? Okay, I have a question. Okay, cool. Have you already said shit? Because I'm waiting to listen, then I can go and sleep or go and have a combo with any other person. But I'm just trying to ask, why did you try and say shit to me? Because I don't know. 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 No, 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 she made it. I don't want me to say. I'll just show that. Oh, why are you trying to say? And you know what is pissing me off? We're having this call because of a guy that I don't even give a fuck about. Because oh, yes. To you is because of a guy. To me is because of me. It is. And look see. <laughs> Wait. Somebody say I'm blessed. Somebody say God bless me. If I bring, somebody may look for someone else that will agree with me. It's a guy. I don't have time for that. That's the last thing I want to do. Have issues with anybody because of a guy. I can't stop. I can't get community friends. Stop blessed. I'm not supposed to be blessed. I'm not trying to make. Trying to make. You just met me then. As a last time. I did. You said the worst thing is sitting whatever. Hi guys and welcome once again to my channel. So, hmm, what's the latest just So tonight is Friday night, of course, and after the Arena Games, Biggie released the keys for the housemates to have some fun whilst they drink. And as they were having fun, they decided to have some truth or dare and also to discuss some, you know, topics. Kaisha actually spearheaded this discussion when they started talking about relationships. If girls would go for guys they like, if guys would wait to be chased, if guys like to be chased, you know, things like that. And it got heated at some point. And when Sony actually came out to say that, um, Kid Wire never chased any girl in the house. And before Wathoni said that apparently Erica had said that as for her, she was never going to chase a guy. She would rather a guy chases her. Nengi, on the other hand, said that she didn't mind chasing a guy so far as she liked the guy. She died there. She's going to chase the guy. So after, um, you know, Erica said that she doesn't, you know, chase guys, guys chase after her, Wathoni dropped a bomb. She shook a table saying that, but she hasn't seen Kid Wire, you know, chasing any girl in the house. Of course, Erica was upset. There was a bit of a banter. She went to the room, cried a little. Kid Wire, you know, consoled her. She now came out, came to confront um, Watoni, telling Watoni that you don't like me. Bah, da, 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 da. Why is that every time you see me, you don't want to talk to me? I thought we had resolved our issue. You know, on and on and on and on. Watoni was acting a bit oblivious about the whole thing. It went south, and it's like nobody had Erica's back, sort of. Like, you know. And as they were talking, Erica goes, like, um, you don't act your age, you have a son, blah, blah, blah. So as she was talking, Nengi came in and was like, you can say anything to Watoni, but do not mention her son in this let you know that not be part of the insults so they went at it at it at it and then erica went to her room kid where i followed and then erica expressed how upset she was because she felt like the other housemates did not have her back especially nengi because she felt like when nengi had an issue with lucy nengi was able to tell lucy she was an old cargo she was old blah 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 so why can't she mention um wathoni's son in the situation so they hugged it out kid consoled her blah 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 then she came out the, the minute she came out with kid they meet nengi you know and then nengi hugs um erica and as she hugged erica they talk about it erica explains the whole situation to nengi and nengi said well she wasn't there at the beginning of whatever started but she felt like mentioning the, the that what tony has a son and all of that was uncalled for but erica explained and nengi said well now she understands and then she's sorry for her she's got her back they ended that conversation and now the house is partying again oh more these housemates don't like fight though there is no end in the house they are all peacemakers and it's fun to see and today nengi spilled a lot about about her it's like all of them spilled a bit of themselves during the, you know the whole truth or there the discussion goes they were a bit tipsy or drunk 
Ozo, however, was quiet, just listening, taking some points that he was jotting down things. And also, Dora told Ozo that the friendship was over. She wanted her space. She wanted to be by herself. But you all know Ozo is persistent. Ozo definitely wanted to still talk to his favorite person. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the dynamics goes. Personally, I don't know who is playing the game anymore because all of these guys are confused with their emotions. Like, their emotions flying everywhere. I personally don't like the way Dora, you know, just, you know, is trying to just cut us off because I feel like Abuka's questions to her on Sunday, um, it was straightforward. Abuka was asking if she had feelings for Ozo, and I feel like if you don't have feelings for a guy, you just say, I don't have feelings for Ozo, then the friendship continues. And I like the fact that Nengi doesn't really gossip much about, you know, their friendship or whatever. It's just cool. Their friendship is kind of cute to watch. I wouldn't mind seeing Nengi and, you know, Ozo become an item. I just hope that they don't get heads in the process of playing the game. Kid Wire, I feel like it's a playboy. And, but I think he really likes Erica. So Erica was, you know, flawed with that judgment when he said, when she said Kid Wire didn't have a back. Kid Wire does have a back, obviously, but I think he expresses it in a very different way. Because, like, come on, he's toned down on the flatten. He's he you know he he any chance to hype her he does and i feel like that's cool i'm tired of hearing lacon talk about erica this erica that erica that friendship is not by force you like this girl she, she doesn't like you move on so yeah i don't know why i'm giving you all that just right now but yeah bathoni just shook a table this night and she's making it look like it's because of kidwire true or false let's have a discussion in the comment section thank you for watching Mwah.
Okay, good. I will never use it in this situation again. I just felt like you, you know how it feels for someone to push you to the edge. And like, oh. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Come back and check more awesome videos. God bless you. Mwah.